So welcome to today's lesson on our PD course. So remember that in our previous video, we learned how to derive the, the Lambert formula. And today, we are going to learn how to use that to solve examples. That's initial value Cauchy problems. So we have this particular wave equation here. Um, with these two initial conditions, where this here stands for the initial displacement or position. And this here stands for the initial velocity. So we learned that when you have this particular problem, then the solution is giving us this particular function that we have here. And remember that we have already derived this in our previous video. So if this is something new to you, then make sure you go through and understand the derivation first. So let's take some questions. So we are going to solve these two questions and the first one we are supposed to find the solution to this particular Cauchy problem here and the second question says we should prove that this particular function here solves this Cauchy problem. So let's go to question one. So with question one we have this particular wave equation here with these initial conditions and remember that our the Lambert's formula is giving us this particular um, formula here. So we said that this is the formula for finding for the solution. So let's just make some comparisons and we get our solution. So that means that we have our u of xt v equal to, but you see this r phi here is the initial condition for u of x0. And here it is zero so that means here our phi is zero so everything here goes to zero so that means you're going to get zero plus then it comes here one over two c integral s minus ct s plus ct then real of s ds but here our real here is what sign you remember so because the value here is the value for the rule so that means it's going to be sine of s ds and then we are just supposed to do this integration so when you integrate sine you're going to get negative cos so this is going to give us negative cos of s and we have these limits so when you put in our limit of integration that means you're going to get 1 over 2 c then minus cos s plus ct then you're going to get minus minus so we get positive here cos of x minus ct and when you simplify this further you get 1 over 2c then we get cos of x minus ct then minus cos of x plus ct so this becomes our solution to the first problem so now the second problem it says we should prove that this particular function here solves this Cauchy problem so let's start work so with the second question we have the Cauchy problems that's UTT minus um, 4 Sorry. So for u x x equals zero, and you have this initial condition. So u of x zero equals e minus x squared, and u t of x zero equals zero. So we said that the Lambert formula for solving this type of Cauchy problems is u of x e equals one over two pi of x minus m um, plus ct to phi of x plus ct then plus phi of x minus ct then all plus 1 over 2c the integral from s minus ct to s plus ct of 3 of s ds so making comparison with the question because with our question we have u t t minus 4 u x x equals 0 and this can be written as u t t will be equal to 4 u x x 
when you make comparison to the wave equation here yeah, that means that our c squared is equal to 4 so c is equal to plus or minus 2 and i told you mostly take the positive one so c is 2 so that means that we are going to have u of x t be equal to right now let's come here you realize that this particular initial condition is the value for phi and this one here is the value for our real so you realize that saying this one is zero that means that our real here our real of s here is going to be zero so that means that all this part will go to zero so we just be interested into all this part will go to zero and we'll just be interested in this part so with this part we have one over two phi of x plus ct then plus phi of x minus ct remember our c we just found our c to be two so that means you are going to get u of x t will be equal to one over two phi of x plus 2t then plus phi of x minus 2t but remember that our initial condition was u of x 0 equals e minus x squared so that means that our phi is something of this form so finally our solution becomes u of x t will be equal to 1 over 2 e minus so remember we get s we put this here so x plus 2t is all squared then let me then plus e minus x minus 2t all squared so this becomes the solution to the coaching problem we had over there and you realize that this is the same as what the question access to show so prove that this function solves this so you've been able to do that so this is how we use the um the lambert formula to solve initial value problems regarding the wave equation thank you very much